Hey everybody and welcome back. Tonight we are at Foxwoods Resort Casino and we decided to take a chance on Guy's Kitchen and Bar. This was a busy Saturday night and we only had to wait about 20 minutes for our reservation, which really wasn't too bad. So come along as we take a look at the ambiance, have some food, and give you some of our thoughts. Let's get this started. As you enter and approach the host stand, you'll see that there's some merchandise on display. They had t-shirts, Nalgene water bottles, cloth napkins, plates, cookbooks, you name it, I think they just about had it. As you can see, this restaurant's vibe is pretty casual and pretty comfortable. This overall seemed to be the perfect spot to celebrate those penny slot victories. If you're in the market for a really unique souvenir or gift, then these cloth napkins are probably going to be it. And yes, these are for sale at that merchandise wall that I showed you earlier. As we take a peruse over the menu, you can see that it was pretty challenging to pick just a couple of things. Honestly, everything looked pretty good. And I thought the prices seemed to be fair, considering this is a celebrity restaurant located in a casino. After finally coming to a decision on our dinner, we placed our order. The waitstaff here was also very friendly. They like to use a couple of guys' slogans too, which was kind of fun, especially if you watch a show and you really seem to enjoy his content. Kicking things off, we started with an order of the buffalo cauliflower. This was way better than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, had I known, I think I would have ordered two servings of this and just had that as my meal. The cauliflower was crispy, uh, but not like chewy and not overly burnt. The sauce was super flavorful, but not like super ooey gooey. The blue cheese was fantastic. I cannot say enough good things about this. This was the sleeper dish for sure. For one of our entrees, we got the primetime American Kobe burger. And this one was also surprisingly very good. Though it seemed like a lot of ingredients, they really all worked together very nicely. And especially that garlic brioche bun, mm -mm -mm, this was a winner for sure. Time for entree number two, the farm stand salad. One of the ingredients that really suckered me in was trying that roasted shallot vinaigrette, and it definitely didn't disappoint. I do wish, however, there was a little more punch of flavor in the dressing, but all in all, this allowed the ingredients of the salad to really shine through. This was a nice dish overall and didn't leave you feeling too heavy or greasy or yucky. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on our dinner at Guy's Kitchen and Bar. We sure hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that we enjoyed eating in order to make this video. So please, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe and we will catch you in the next one.